Hello, I am Dr. Subhash Todi. I am based at Kolkata. I am going to take you through searching and appraising literature for evidence. Now, whenever we see a patient, we have many questions pertaining to that patient's problem and we need to search the literature for that. Whenever we start any research project, we need to search the literature on what has been done on that subject previously. So we need some idea about where to search and what to search and how to search. And once we get an article, we need to know how to appraise that article in a scientific and evidence-based method. Now, whenever we search the literature before that, the primary thing is to ask the right question. We need to ask a valid question so we get a valid answer. Now, the questions can be of two types. One is a background question, which is consists of pathophysiology, mechanism of action and definition, or there can be a foreground question, which depends on the therapy, the harm, the diagnosis, the prognosis. So I'm going to mainly tackle the foreground questions because these are the ones which we have to tackle on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, the PICO format, which will be discussed in another module in detail, is one of the formats in which the questions have to be framed. We have to look at the patient population. We have to see what intervention has been done to that patient and what is the comparator. Is it a placebo or some other drug? And what is the outcome of relevance? Is that outcome useful for our day-to-day -day practice? So whenever we search the medical literature, it can be divided into three different paradigms. The first is the hierarchy of evidence. Hierarchy of evidence consists of what we call primary studies. Primary studies means the research which has been done on the subject. And there is a hierarchy of it. Initially, it would be a, the number one in hierarchy would be a randomized controlled trial, followed by observational studies, which are very systematic, or followed by unsystematic observational studies, which are applicable to therapy or harm. So these are the hierarchy of primary studies. There can be primary studies on diagnosis, prognosis, or differential diagnosis. So this is one way we can look at the literature. Now, the second way of looking at the literature is to get all the primary studies together and look at the systemic reviews or meta-analysis which have collected all the primary studies.